You ready for this? Yeah. Hello, Stevies. Man, it's good to be back and we're both riding together instead of you riding all by yourself up to South Dakota and go places <laughs> without me all the time while I'm at home working. Not all the time. I've been spending time with our son. Uh -huh. uh, Make it sound like I'm always riding. You are. Harvest is done. <laughs> And we got uh, we got a video to make today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Today is all about the Harley Davidson Softail Deluxe. Thirty some thousand miles you've got on that thing now, and uh, what you've gone through like four tires. <laughs> uh, well, two in the back, two in the front. Um, we put saddlebags on it that have basically made it a heritage soft tail. The bike went on the world record poker run and is going to be going on the Route 66 ride. Um, yes. Has been to Sturgis multiple times. Has been to Arkansas multiple times. Has been to Florida a couple of times. Uh, all in two years. Don't forget New York. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Oklahoma, yep. just a couple others too. All places you went while I was working. <laughs> yes, it's true. That is going to be the occurring theme here. <laughs> yeah. So in those 30,000 miles that you've ridden that bike now, is there anything you would want different or anything that you would have done different when you bought it? Um, well, knowing what I know now from riding 30,000 miles, I am, at some point in my life, I will go up in a bike, probably. I don't know. We'll so, see. So a touring I bike? just, yeah, I just, the reason why is because it's just, when it's really, really windy out, and you have, your only option is to ride your motorcycle, it doesn't take the wind very well and it just kind of it chips it but it and leans it and it's so it's not as heavy as, as yours i mean the road king it just glides right through that wind because it's heavier and i think that that would be a different feel for me and when i ride yours and then i jump on mine i feel like it's a smaller bike for some reason which it is <laughs> but i don't know we'll see I there's just some things that you 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 don't realize until you've ridden it for a while what what the differences would be. Well, and you never actually had planned to tour on that bike either, though. No, no. Which, it's it's set up nice to tour, though. I mean, we've made it to what I needed it to be for that short, short amount of time of knowing about it. But since we put a tuner on it, it, it seems like it gets up and goes a lot better. Well, so I don't... A huge difference. <laughs> so, so now I am not grandma anymore, right? Right, well... Right. So, ah. when you're going down the interstate at 75 mile an hour, you are using 20% throttle. This is the way it was explained to me by a, a mechanic of Frontier. Is that when you're going down the interstate at 75 mile an hour, you are using 20% throttle. The way the Milwaukee 8s come out of the box, they are only at 80% throttle, and when you put the tuner on it, then they get 100% throttle. So, you're gaining whatever how much power it takes to go 75 mile an hour on the interstate, that's what you're gaining. Which makes a big difference. Yeah, makes a huge, huge. difference. Feels like it's got a lot of get up and go and I love it. Absolutely love it. We do we do have some things planned for that bike for the winter. Yes. Um, it's going to get some different Don't tell them. Things. And Amy wants um, hard saddlebags. I do. So Is we'll bigger? Get, uh, maybe with Advan Black and get some saddlebags for it that are painted white. Because we can't mismatch colors no. on the Stevie Ooh. Bow channel. We can't do that. Oh. If it was white, it's going to be white when we're done. So the things we've done to that bike <laughs> are she now has an a S&S teardrop air cleaner, which is awesome. I love it. 
She has a windshield that we bought on eBay that came off of a heritage that a guy sold us for like 80 bucks. Can't really go wrong there. Um, we put saddlebags on it that are for that are out of the Harley book that are for the deluxe. They match the deluxe theme or whatever. But but the best part of that is that they're quick release and I can do it all myself. Yes, they come right off. And Very it looks simple. great without, but... Oh, it looks so much better without them. I know. <laughs> that, that even but I want to carry my own crap. Um, she has a really tall sissy bar because she has a lick and stick seat that she can put on the fender because she has a stock solo seat for now. Um, she'll have a saddleman step up seat here before too long, I think. Um, we put the handlebars on it, the chrome front end on it, the exhaust on it, the tune in it. Uh, she's put a heel shifter on it. Um, she's put a crash bar on the front. She has done the highway pegs. Son Kale paid for the switches, the switch housings, the master cylinder, the brake clamp, the clutch, everything, all of this stuff to be chromed out on there also. Um, so the things that we've done to the bike have really, really helped it aesthetically, I think. Aesthetically, I think. And it's made it her own. And now I know. Now she knows. <laughs> All those years ago when you said, I just was going to get this bike and I don't have to do anything to it. And then you do one thing after the other to it. I never understood it. And now I do. Now you know. Now I know. So they're going to know. <laughs> they're never going to know. That's the meme we should make when they, when the, they ring the bell and buy the bike. They're going to yeah. know. Now they're going to know. <laughs> And then when they walk in, they're like, well, I don't really know if I want to buy a bike. They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she got hit by the bug the minute she bought it, pretty much. There's the SNS air cleaner, the chrome front end, the handlebars, chromed out uh, grips and everything. Controls, the sissy bar, the Reinhardt exhaust. I'm going to be taking some layers off. I'm going to say, I'm just wearing Dixon. I got the, the Jason on. Because <laughs> Halloween is in a couple of days. Believe that. Right? Usually we're fast. still picking corn at this time. Yeah. Not this year, though. We're done. We also made a trip to Nebraska Furniture Mart last weekend. Should we talk about that? Uh, I don't know. So we, we bought a bed not too long ago that I absolutely love and Miss Stevie hates. And so we went to Nebraska Furniture Mart and she's like, I want this and I want this. And I was like, well, that's expensive. And she looked right at me and said, I don't care. I don't because my back needs it. We're getting this. This is what I want. There was no negotiation. None. Nope. Well, we went your direction last time. Yeah, and it was And that great. didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> now our son can enjoy it. Dude on the Goldwing thinks he's got to go 90, apparently. In shorts. Yeah. Nope. It is what it is. That's yeah. not like his yeah, legs let's, very well. Let's talk about that. How many shirts do you have on? Um, 65 have, degrees, folks. It is 65 degrees right now. Stop it. We're in Nebraska, too. You just never know. It could be cold 65. It could I'm, be a warm 65. I'm just telling them what the temperature is. And I have layers on because I know I can take stuff off. How many? I have <laughs> um, a tank top on, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a body shirt. And then I have... A long sleeve shirt on, a t shirt, and. I think somebody's SIRI went off just now. Yep. And um, I also have my heated liner that is not turned on right now on, and then my jacket over that. Hmm. And my chaps 
And I don't know if you can tell because I have my Ariat. I'm going to come over to you. My Ariat pants. Ariat. Ariat. Thank you for correcting me, babe. I love you. Oh, don't even start. Don't even start. <laughs> I never correct you. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you about. talking about? I show you a text <laughs> message I'm sending to somebody, <laughs> and she's correcting spelling. She's putting the commas in the right flipping spot. So we are on our way to the Frontier Harley-Davidson because they're having a Halloween thing that should be over by the time we get there because we're so potent in our times, you know. And uh, I'm going to go buy a bike. <laughs> Great. I guess last time I said that we did. Actually, it was like it was like a movie where they show the person sleeping and then their eyes open and they sit up in bed and they say, I'm going to do this today. That was I know how it went. That was pretty much what you did. I was like, hey, Amy, it's going to be 70 degrees today. I'm going to go buy a bike. <laughs> I guess she was ready. I don't know. It worked out in the end, though. It did. And now look at me. Now look at you. <laughs> now you're ready to get rid of that one and get a touring bike. Oh, well, it's going to be a while. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Because next. you're next. Right. <laughs> I guess I should go to the speed limit, huh? Well, nobody else is. But there's going to be a lot out today for the games today. Yeah, I think we're the least of their worries. Oh, I needed this. Sure did. So how about you? How are you feeling? Today is your first day, first Saturday off for months. It's nice. Pretty nice. Because I keep thinking it's Sunday. <laughs> it is not Sunday. Nope. We gotta do all this again tomorrow. Well, not this, but <laughs> well, we could. Amy thought it would be fun to go through my closet this morning and count <laughs> how many dicks and flannels I have. Don't tell them. Don't she, tell them. I already knew how many I had. She didn't have to go count them. Guys, I want you to guess but how many dicks and flannels he has. Especially Dustin, if you're listening, or Molly. Molly, let's do this. We need to figure this stuff out. How many does Dustin have? We're gonna. And how we're many gonna, do you think Josh has? <laughs> we're gonna travel up to South Dakota sometime this winter. Stay with them for a weekend and do a couple fun videos on the Two Wheeled Channel and on our channel, I would think. But you know what's funny? Is they beat us here, but we are beating them right here. <laughs> right. They went by us doing about a honey. I am oh. totally playing in that bouncy house. I don't think that's for adults. Who said I was an adult? Where do you want me to go? I want you to go park. <laughs> hey, there's uh, Jason? Jason and Peggy. Jason and Peggy. Huh? You want a drink? No. Oh. No, I was just, I thought it was still my bike. Oh. I did everything. Yep. All right, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yep. Ooh, this might be a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, though. <laughs> I'm a big girl. Had their Halloween day today at Frontier. And uh, our buddy Jace that we're always talking about. Um, I'll put a little clip in here. Dressed up like the Tiger King. <laughs> and was the spitting image. <laughs> it's, it's hard. I tell it on the floor. <laughs> so, I'm Joe Exotic. <laughs> Joe for president. Tigers and stuff and such. <laughs> Man, that's funny. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was crazy. There was I one, thought it was some creeper. You were talking to somebody else, and there was one point where he like points at something and like put a step forward and did it, and just looked. He didn't even mean to do it. Just looked exactly, exactly like <laughs> Joe Exotic. 
it was kind of um uncomfortable at first. I will right? say that. <laughs> like, what is going on he's here? That, he's got that I've been to prison face. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. And then he started talking. Right. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, I know that voice. Doesn't go with that face, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't have a beard. What is going on? The hair is still there. <laughs> what did he say? He hasn't seen his chin in four years. A long time. <laughs> I think it was longer than that, though. <laughs> that was awesome. He said when he left the house, his girlfriend was still in bed, but she was laughing at him the whole time. <laughs> So funny. So that, Frontier bought the dealership in Grand Island also. Um, you, I, I forget what it's Any called. idea what they name it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gosh dang it. I'll have to look it up and I'll put it here. I forget what they call it now. So that, now they own Grand Island, Lincoln, and Springfield? Springfield, Missouri, not Nebraska. Springfield, Missouri. Right. Yes. Right. And they're going to come up and pick up Miss Stevie's bike. Yeah. Uh, to fix the, a passing lamp that's not working. Which is really nice. I didn't expect that at all. Oh, yeah. He just offered. You want us to come get it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Can go over? Okay. It's pissing me off. Yeah. Let's put it on this joker. Put it on you, you punk kid. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Yeah, 19 punk. year old punk. Should be in the right lane if he's going to go that slow. Right? Or turning around like he is. Darn it anyway. Making a U turn. <laughs> Not realizing where the hell he is. So, circling back around to the deluxe. <laughs> just yeah. when we started this this day in this video on. Um, now, especially that you've seen other bikes, especially today after seeing other bikes. Right. Um, and, and riding the way that you do now, and the riding the way that we do now. Is there a touring bike in the future for you, do you think? That's a possibility. I don't know. I, I love, absolutely love this bike. It's just going back and forth with being on the road and only having the option of your bike to ride, you know, with the wind is, I mean, it's doable, but I, I don't know anything different though either. Right. I don't even, I've never even test rode a touring bike with a fairing on it. Oh, but you've ridden this one. Yeah. And it, and it, I'm not going to lie, it intimidates me a little bit. Oh, well, then you're on the bike you should be on then. Because that well, one doesn't intimidate you, does it? No, not at all. No, no. But yours has grown on me a lot, too. Well, but also, you have a hard time backing this one up. I do. I do. And I think, I think that's really important because a person can yeah. get themselves into a pickle. Yep. Yeah, quick that's. If they need that's, help backing yep. their bike up. Well, and when we were practicing, you showing me how to pick up your bike when if it falls over, you know, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do it, I'm wondering if I could do it with mine. And to me, that's all the much more I should keep this for a while longer uh, yeah. than what I think, because if I can throw it around like I can, and if I can pick it up after I do throw it down, <laughs> sure. you know, that to me is means a lot because that means I'm okay anywhere I go by myself. So that's stuff to look forward to in the future. And this winter, I think that bike's going to get a little bit of an overhaul and get some things. <laughs> some things. Can't wait. The Deluxe is going to have, if, if she does nothing else other than what we already have for it, it's still going to completely change the bike. Yeah. It's going to be cool. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button and Miss D, we can take it from here. <laughs> if you want to see more, hit that subscribe. 
Also hit that bell notification so you know when we load up next time. And until next time, stay cool and we will see you on the road. And there you go.